Another news, President Obama's election back in 2009 sparked the conservative Tea Party movement among conservatives. And now, in response to President Trump's election, Democrats are banding together in a similar grassroots movement. Chris Six reporter Jane Caffrey has been looking into that, and she joined us now with more. Jane. Lee, this Democratic grassroots movement is called Indivisible. It's been around for just over a year, and it's growing here in the Coastal Bend. Though modeled after the Tea Party, Indivisible is the polar opposite when it comes to ideology. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. Since President Trump took office, there have been protests in the Coastal Bend against his agenda. Resist and persist. Many were planned using this guide written by former congressional staffers last year. It's the Indivisible Movement's Bible and it tells ordinary people how they can get members of Congress to listen to them and stall the Trump agenda. It's the idea of you know, you have to be held accountable. Your constituents are your bosses. Mary Alice Gonzalez started one of two local indivisible groups. Together, the groups have about 300 members. I had people from other surrounding areas saying, can I join your group? Can I join? So we started growing. Authors of the guide acknowledge their model is similar to the one the Tea Party used. Writing the Tea Party's success came down to two strategies. Keep it under local control and target members of Congress on their home turf. The indivisible movement takes the same approach, but fights for a different ideology. We're resisting, we're willing to go into offices and letting them know that we're here and we're watching, keeping tabs. I also spoke to the Nueces County Republican chair. He believes the Tea Party had more momentum locally than Indivisible. He also does not think local candidates will be swayed by the Indivisible movement in this year's elections. Lee. All right, thank you very much, Jane.